Today is a much anticipated episode of Project Homegrown. Today we are with Danny Meanswell and his beautiful Z3. I say anticipate because I've wanted to do this for about two years now. Yeah, it's been yeah, a, while. a long time yeah, coming, yeah, hasn't yeah, it, man? <laughs> so we linked up with Danny a couple years ago when this thing was green, a little bit less, progressed. Yeah, 1.9 green, stop body. Yeah, yeah. and then we got in trouble with the police. <laughs> Hanging out the back nice. of the car, wasn't it? Yeah, it was things, <laughs> yeah, imagine the photographer got pulled over and the, the decked out scoot car didn't. But today we're in the yards and obviously we're going to be putting down some uh, some wet skids. It's a little bit damp today, but should we start off with a little walk around the car? How long have you had it? Uh, about three, three and a half years now. Mm -hmm. It's the longest I've ever kept a car. Yeah. Um, <laughs> probably out of characteristic for me. I'm normally like a three, six month guy and then just uh -huh. plug them on sort of thing. But I don't know, there's something about this car. I just, I can't get rid of it. Yeah, no doubt, man. Don't see okay. it very often, do ya? Not modified, not like Sandy, not. Scoochie. Like this. It's, it's, a lot, it's, really. a, it's like an MX-5, but cooler. It is. So I'm going to get a lot of hate for that. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only one, so I've been preaching this for the last three years, but yeah, they, 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 they won't, they, the die hard MX5 boys, they won't agree with me, but they know they are. A couple of people in red cars, not saying anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't say they're it, but yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It was green and now it's blue. What, why did yeah. you go with the uh, colour choice? Unintentional tone down after a police incident on the A13. Uh, someone decided to hit an overpass in a lorry and they shut the road off and <laughs> in three hours of traffic there was like nine police officers around the car. I'm not going to say much more about it and we've gone like full chameleon mode. I'm camouflaging <laughs> now so. Yeah. It's a bit like Grand Theft Auto man, you get five stars. <laughs> yeah that's it, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. Saying about the chameleon pad, I don't know how well you can see it on it that lens cool, but You've done some etching in the paint there, haven't you? Yeah, I wanted to keep, like, when me and Jake spoke about it, I said to him, like, I wanted to tone the car down a lot, um, but I wanted to keep, like, a few of the touches that the car was sort of known for, because there ain't many Z3s like it, and it was quite well known for the, for the paintwork on it. I think that was sort of like the standout feature that Jake did originally. Um, but yeah, that was also what led to it getting in trouble, so. There was a 1.9 in there, what was there now? Uh, yeah, I had a 1.9 M44, which I skidded sort of about a year and a half, like the first year and a half that I owned it. Um, it was good, I had put a, I think I put a 427 diff in it off an E30, blew that up. Ended up buying like a white E36 saloon. It was sitting there for like six years and it needed a lot more money spending on it than what I initially thought. So once I broke it, we were sort of left with like a free engine. Um, and then me, it was in Garage Unknown where we was building it and we sort of looked at it and he was like, I'll have the M44 and I hope you put it in. I was like, Sound. not to do, yeah. Shout so, out Garage Unknown. Should have a little, a little look at it at the yeah, yeah, we got underneath. Look how ridiculous this bonnet is as well. <laughs> Big boy. You know what I'm saying? It's like solution. a list of knob link, mate. Like, the whole car comes up. Yeah, it's a tight fit. Little squeeze, right? They, they do come with, like, obviously, yeah. like the, the six and the standard, uh -huh. so it wasn't too bad. I think the only difficulty we really had was um, the ECU box is mounted over here on a, on a Z3, and obviously yeah. we've used the E36 loom, so it just had to be relocated, otherwise, everything would have had to have been chopped and then. Re uh -huh. so we kept the, the standard box and just relocated it over the other side. Like I've rated the engine mount, it's got some razors on it so it clears the subframe. Apart from that, the engine's pretty much standard. It's got a map TCU with a hard cut. Yeah, there's not much chassis, is there? No, it's nothing. It's, it's just great. Like the engine with some yeah. strut towers and the yeah, literally, headlights yeah. there. Yeah, it's cool, man. But there's still quite a lot of room yeah. as well, isn't there? It's, it's is... decent to work on. Yeah, I've never had any issues or like space issues in terms of working on it and that it's, it's been pretty nice it's got a 2.8 exhaust on it now so it's got like the twin system yeah, yeah. back because when i broke down and that show it that just got destroyed with everything else that, that yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you got a nice little bash bar in here uh, well. yeah metal monkey motorsport did the bash bar um he's done the bash bar in this and he's made like a they, he made the exhaust system and he did a fuel tank bash plate for it as well because nice. the lowest thing on this car is the the petrol tank and obviously mm -hmm. that's not that's not good for lows is it so mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Wait, let me let me get another shot of that bonnet because that <laughs> that's on the back. Look at it; it's, it's bigger than the rest of the car, mate. It's, it's absolutely outrageous. Standard um, narrow body bumper. Yep. It's got a Renault Laguna. I thought that was a Renault right? or yeah, something yeah. strange on the front. Uh, yeah, yeah, Renault it Laguna. On it does, man. And, and I've had it on there for two years, and it's been solid, like What's dragging that? it over. Split up. Yeah, dragging split it over take, everything. Take They're getting a bit pricey now, mm. as in when they come up, they're sort of like 130 quid. I remember you uh, you murked one of those on that last shoot, yeah, didn't I did, you? Yeah, like lorry going past us in the industrial estate. Yeah, that, this is the second one, but this one's been good as gold. What they come with is standard. They add like a, a fin in there, like a vent. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, me and Jake smoothed it all out. Um, he welded it all up, so it's all it's all metal now. Um, one piece, and then the, the the lower wings were a bit of a, a yeah, WhatsApp idea. Look how big the wing is. 
fuck this talk. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, it, it, was a, it was an idea that I sent to him over WhatsApp after one of the Norfolk days. Someone sent me a picture of the car, like, side on, and I basically drew, you know, not like, right. using my finger, yeah, mm. like the lines. I was like, can you make me this out of metal? And he was like, yeah, yeah, sweet, bring it down. So that, that was the. I always like, like, the vented wings off of, like, the S bodies and that yeah, would make uh -huh. when they do, like, the fiberglass yeah, 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 widens. Yeah, yeah. But. Since owning like the, my old Cooper, my old saloon, I didn't want any more fiberglass on it because I just spent every day trying right. to fix it again. Yeah, mm. so it, it was made out of metal. Yeah, E46 uh, M Sport M Sport side skirts. Um, I think they were like shortened by about five or six inches, yeah. and then chopped. I chopped about an inch out of the bottom of them just to get them to fit. Yeah. Uh, the wheels are Kings 16 by eight and a half, and yeah, they look so nine nice and a half on the back. Nice. The nine and a half on the rear. Yeah. Never even heard. I, like, I like the finish on it. It's standard finish. Um, I don't know whether they all come with it because I've had a few sets of like just 8.5s um, and they're quite flat, but it's just like a, as far as I know, it's standard finish and I've just yeah. polished up the dishes. Yeah, no, I like, I like them. I think they, they suit it quite well. It's got a wide body rear end on it now in terms of like the panels because you can unbolt every panel in the car, but the, the training arms are still narrow body, so you could fit like 12J rears on it if you wanted to. It's got like probably about 55 mil of space all the way around sort of thing. Um, so you could get some like really really mental spec wheels, but touch wood, I've never done a drive shaft on this car. So wow, yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> 60 psi stretch tires and yeah, it's, it's never done a drive shaft, so I don't really want to start changing up too much. No, Plus I'm tight and I don't want to spend thousands of pounds on three piece wheels. So yeah, this gap here is crazy, isn't it? Like looks like a Porsche. Is there is there a gap here? Uh, oh, it, that's... It does fill in, doesn't it, but... I'll say that's aero, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a story about that diffuser. I thought it was squishy, but it's not. No, 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 that's a... It was, because it, it, it ain't got the stamp on it anymore. It was a genuine AC Snitzer cool. splitter. And um, on the last... Yeah, on the last... Uh, that's like my one true flex <laughs> day. <laughs> um, on my last Norfolk day, it was like the second to last run, and I was out with my pal that's not skidded for like five years. I knew the tyres were getting low, and I was like, I don't want to call it a day, I don't want to call it a day. We was going round and round, had a blowout. I knew I was getting the car painted anyway, so I was like, it don't matter if I damage the quarter a little bit, but it ripped the, the inner wheel arch out, and obviously the splitter was attached to it, so it yeeted the splitter off, and then the next four cars behind me run it over, and it was in like nine pieces, uh. so it's like, you can see how wavy it is in places, and then like around about there is where the like the little emblem was supposed to be for the schnitzer uh -huh. bit, but I never got that bit back, so. No, it definitely adds something to it. Clear, clear tails on there? They, yeah. They're not factory, are they? No, 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 um, that was imported from um, a fellow off Instagram that I'm, I'm now pals with, but. They're, they're, they're not cheap, but I think like the good thing about this car is because not many people mod them. When bits come up, they don't ask silly money for them, yeah. sort of thing. Mm. So it works out quite nicely. Not like, market, like yeah. that genuine split was like I think I paid like 120 pound for it. And if you get like a 36 Schnitzer bumper, they're like 500 pound that yeah, yeah, at least yeah. yeah so uh, yeah, give me a windscreen wiper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you also deleted the brake light on the boot, right? Yeah, so only the only the facelift ones come with clear rear brake lights. Um, so deleted that. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jake welded it was up. up here. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Jake welded it up, um, smoothed it in, and then we painted it. We was toying with the idea of smoothing the whole bulge out, but I like the bulge. Yeah. Say woo! Well, this is it, and then constantly like opening and shutting the boot as well. That much filler is just going to crack and start yeah. lifting or sinking, isn't it? So mm -hmm. we, we just did it like the minimal bit just to get it away. But shotgun pipes. Yeah. That's it. Japanese uh, inspiration. Trip over that, mate. Look how much that sticks out. Yeah, this is my, my ongoing war with the Royal Mail man that delivers parcels. <laughs> 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 doing machines in every time. It, yeah, and I trust. <laughs> to be fair, I think me and, me and the painter Jake have fell over it more times than anyone else. <laughs> it's, it's my own fault, isn't it? Uh, that was done by a Metal Monkey Motorsport again. Well, look how small this car is. I love this. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's now a Beamer. It's not slightly bent, is it? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Touch wood at the moment, because I think they are starting to reproduce them now. It's got the only pair of them seats in the world. Um, it's a bit of a weird story how they came about. I messaged them, at, I think it was like February, March time, uh -huh. um, when they put the new colorways up. So they had a, a black seat with the teal background, and then they had a blue, like the blue fabric on a silver background or whatever it was. And I was like, is there any way that you can custom make it? And they was like, yeah, yeah, we'll just contact the suppliers. And then, yeah, long story short, they, they ended up having the seats made. So as soon as they put the picture up, I was like, oh, yeah, they were my seats that yeah. I asked no. And they ended up buying them off of them. I was like, do not sell them to anyone else. He was like, let me take some pictures of them for like marketing and that. Uh -huh. As soon as they were available, I was like, yeah, I'm having them. Yeah, yeah the glittery is cool on them, man. And it goes, it goes with the old, the old colouring, though, doesn't it? 
Um, yeah, this trim. definitely wasn't me being tight, just trying to scrimp out on, on paint jobs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but like, obviously, I had the, the Boston green before. Um, it's got the till back, the fade on the mats. It all kind of tied in well together. And obviously, nice. under the engine and the, right. the boot is all green. Still, painting so. the car is long, but painting the door shuts and everything yeah. is like super long. I think like we prepped the car in a day, like with all the dents on the doors uh -huh. and things like that, like smoothing out all the bumper again. Prepped in a day and then like I think I think we I dropped off on the Saturday or Sunday and by the Wednesday it was really ready to pick back up. Like Jake worked super fast, so but that was the whole point. I was like I just want it in and out, sort of quickly Great done. Flow. Yeah. Complimenting him on this steering wheel earlier. Um yeah, I, I found it on a, a Yahoo auction. Never done anything like that before, never imported anything, but there was like a, an old lot of four steering wheels, um, all different like original Japanese made steering wheels. Um and I think I ended up winning them for about £73 with the customs and the shipping. It was, it was just sort of like pure bids. I was like the first Third bidder on it, um, but that I, I bought the whole lot for that one steering wheel. I think it's a Junis 350 mil four spoke. Um, not gonna lie, me completely fanboy, and I, I saw it on um, one of the animal style cars. Had it many years ago, and since then I was just like, I have to have that wheel. Never found one. Never seen anyone selling it. Come up completely by fluke. I was just, I had to have it. And what shifter and hydro you got in there? I can see that you got a van's grip on there, so you know. got some roots. Yeah, that's it. You got yeah. some roots on the BMX. the BMX. In days, yeah. No, um, they come stock with a with a short shifter or Z3s. Um, okay, cool. So it's just got the standard shifter in it with like a little threaded adapter on it. Um, the hydro is just the cheapest one I could find from Poland. I think it's like a QMS brand or something like that. Uh, reverse mount and garage unknown like made it fit under the t under the, all the center console and that. Yeah, it looks sick. Yeah, I just I don't like it when they cut all the carpet out and things like that. I, just, I wanted it as neat as possible, sort of thing. Like I didn't want to take time on the outside and then have the interior looking all gash. I like the door cards as well. It looks like you got gator skin going on it's here, man. Ostrich leather. I don't think it's actually ostrich, like, but that that is the colour. Um, it was a bit of a weird story. Like, I, I think like two and a half years after me owning it, the original owner managed to contact me. She seen the, the car on her on I Instagram. Yeah, I yeah. saw this as well. Um, and Should she sent me over all the all the spec list because she had the car like tailor made to her. So she went for like the, the smoking package. Um, she went for the green optional ostrich leather interior. She did actually ask to buy it back, and I kind of had to sort of gently say to her, "This is uh, car." Do you, you want to buy this back? <laughs> <laughs> She, she, she was like very happy with the way I put it, but I was like, I don't think you're gonna want to enjoy driving this like you used to. What coilovers and stuff are you on? Just standard brakes and uh, standard brakes. They're not even um, is it vented like the, the six pots have? Yeah, they're just yeah. solid discs. Nice. But I ain't I ain't it nothing yet, so it's all good. Um, <laughs> standard brakes all round. Um, it's got like the cheapest budget coilovers on the front, like 140 quid. I think they're from Euro Car Parts at the time. <laughs> with some with some max speed in plates. Man. Yeah, like no, honestly, man, they, they've been good as gold. Um, it doesn't weigh much, so it's not going to be much. No, much this is it. Um, on it like. they're, they're good as gold. I think they've got like nine K spring rates on the front. Uh, backs on Mini Cooper shocks with yes, um, yes. poly, that, eh? poly, um, what are they called? Top oh, mounts, yeah. yeah. And then it's got some 30k or 32k Faulkner springs on it. You hear that? Jesus. <laughs> 32k, <laughs> that bro. Is stiff. That's like train springs, that's what the yeah. Polish boys do. I want to try and get another, at least one more skid day done before the end of the year, probably yep. a Norfolk day. Never going back to Pod. Nah. Hey, yo. What's the Norfolk track? Beautiful compared to Pod. It's like half the price. I'm not flogging it. I'm not trying to <laughs> um, Sponsored. But yeah, I did that one, I think it was like the Christmas Santa Pod day like two years ago, where I put two holes in the floor from hitting, mm. like bottoming out and yeah, things like that. Yeah. I was just like, it's like, not low car friendly, is no, it? No, and it's Quite like, for the, for the price of it, it just, it weren't a bit of me. Um, I, like, I like to see this at Dory Fest, mate. Next year, I'm putting oh, you on the spot yeah, right that's here. It. No, now, no, that's mate. fine. I'll do it. Gotta be at Dory Fest. Martin, he gets accepted straight away. Cool, mate. The floor is yours.
Yeah. Hey, Peeling, it's pretty slippy, isn't it? Nice, good ball. Dude, I, like I was it. so close to getting <laughs> hit. That's the closest I've been so far. We weren't lying about that exhaust. That is, uh, <laughs> that's coming for your ankles, that is. It sounds crazy, doesn't it? It sounds so much different to any M52. It sounds yeah. so good on yeah. there. So nice. good on Sick. That was nice, man. Oh, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Made, made most of the room. Uh, I'd like to take this moment actually to dedicate this episode to Luke Fuller. Oh yeah, big Shout ups. out your boy. But yeah, if you've got a cool car, you want to come down. Hopefully the weather holds out a bit better than it has today. Maybe you can show Danny up, I don't know. I doubt it, but. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why people are lining up. We've got a skid pad here. We're allowed to skid <laughs> here. Trippy, mate. Mate, you've got concrete. Yeah, rips. mate, but There's you haven't got to worry about the feds. How nice is it to skid without having to worry about police? I didn't mind, did I? So it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing right. fell off the car, Big no up. drive shafts broke, sweet. Sound. No, nice one, man, I appreciate it. That's all, folks. Go. 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 Go.